Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I have a pretty exciting video for you guys. Um, so I'm going to be doing a reaction video to um, this video by Michelle Carr. I'm sorry if I butchered your last name. I'm so sorry. She basically, sorry guys, she basically did a video um, about two weeks ago um, called I Tried Marine Boot Camp and I I wanted to um, just do my reaction as a military personnel. I'm not mil I'm not a marine, but I am a soldier. I am in the military. I am in the military. Duh. I'm in the army, and um, I just want to see what's up. You know. Um, I think marine boot camp is like 14 weeks long, and mine is I think ours was 10 weeks. Yeah, ours was 20, 10 weeks long. So, so there's there's a a lot different, but all have the same common goal you know so let's see what's up remember the rough marches okay. i'm gonna skip through I remember, this, I remember this talk, not quite like this, but it was the whole company had this kind of talk. Even after some of you have given up on yourselves, from you, we demand the following. You will give 100% of yourselves at all times. Be completely honest in everything you do. A Marine never lies or cheats. You must work hard to strengthen your body, your spirit, and your mind. Above all else, never quit or give up. Then they had us line up, and it was game on. Say aye, aye, sir. Aye, sir. No, no, scream aye, aye, sir. Aye, aye, sir. So in the army, we don't call NCOs, sir. We like we call officers, sir. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I'm always confused about that. So if you guys understand that, like, let me know in the comments. Why do? You, I mean, I'm sure that's just what they do. But like, we don't call enlisted personnel, sir. We call like. NCOs like sergeants we call them sergeant we don't call them sir I always thought that was weird like different anyways just it was massive flashbacks this is day zero field day is what we call this literally the most Field day is our day zero, which is like what we call a shark attack. The worst day ever. Just the worst day ever. Just people screaming at you. You're, you're so confused. Your shit is way over there. And you're way over here. You, and you don't even know really where it is. You're so confused. One drill sergeant's like telling you do this. Another drill sergeant's telling you not to do that. And of course you got to figure out like, crap, I can't not do what this one's not what well, this one's telling me to do and not and not do what this one's not telling me what to do if that makes sense like stressful He's like, take your shirt off. Put it back on. Take your shirt Stressful. off. There were some people. Ten seconds. Ago. There were some people crying, crying. crying. Like <laughs> I didn't get that like scared, but it's stressful. No, ma'am. Then why would you do that little silly? Want me to fix you, you little girl? No, ma'am. You're a little girl? No, ma'am. How old are you? 26, ma'am. 26? Yup, but I gotta, I gotta fix you, right? No, ma'am. You didn't say nothing. All right, ma'am. Get your palms back. I remember the time when we were trying to figure out how to put our uniforms on, and the first time we ever put our uniforms on, no one told us like how to do it. So we we're basically like blind, and we look so ate up. Like uh, those were the days. So I'm pretty sure I don't know about any other basic trainings. I'm sure others do, but like mine just didn't teach us how to put our uniforms on at first. I guess they got a kick out of just saying like what we thought we should have put on like my name tapes were backwards I don't I think my rank was probably upside down a hot ass mess like literally a hot ass mess and then this also reminds me like when she didn't say I am am like we you always it's like now it's so second nature but like at first you're not used to saying like yes drill sergeant no drill sergeant you double like yes what and i remember one time uh i was like i needed to go get something because i forgot something i'm like shit i left my i think i left my glasses like 
in the shower so I'm like fuck I have to go back and get my glasses so I went in there like drill sergeant like I have to go get my glasses she was like are these your the these are these your glasses and I said yes she's like guess what she was like bitch uh shit bag and I was like what <laughs> I was so confused but it's just I didn't say yes drill sergeant <laughs> Oh my gosh. The confidence course was a shit show for my platoon. OMG, like a shit show the first time. They decided to do the confidence course. Usually don't do that until like uh like later on into the cycle, but I think they just, they just did it twice for some reason. And um the first time I did the confidence course or we did the confidence course oh my god it was horrible like we were out of shape obviously we we're out of shape we'd only been i think at basic training for about two weeks at the time and well technically three weeks but like actually in basic training for three weeks or two weeks and oh my god i was so out of shape i could barely like run and climb the freaking rope thing like the little ladder thing oh my it was horrible just out of breath a hot ass mess y'all so i feel for these people but by the end of it girl we were bouncing off of everything jumping off of everything repelling i was jumping over the walls like it was nothing like you see in the movies and stuff that was me that was me The vicious war cry. The vicious war cry. I remember it. Really what you call it? Like that. 90 degrees, hands in the air. Bam, just like that. Good job. This is what we call the A-frame. Do you understand? I it's also known as the tough one. Do you understand? I now it's pretty simple how to negotiate this option, right? First thing you're going to do, you're going to start off with a two rope card. You're going to climb the rope. Why do they all scream like that? I always thought those like Marines like they sound the same when they scream. <laughs> Whatever. I guess I guess army people do too now that I think about it. Still to this day, I suck at climbing the rope. Suck. <laughs> When we went over to the A-frame, they only told us about the first part, getting up the rope. And just getting up that rope by itself was really scary because my arms were shaking. Oh. Hey, so from here, you're going to walk across the platform all the way until you get to that frame that looks like an A. And they told me to climb up the A-frame. And oh that gosh. was terrifying. This reminds me of the... So we had a confidence course. Um, this was towards the end of our cycle and we had to climb up what we call it's called Jacob's Ladder <sighs> You go up there. You're not attached to anything like scary Scary like it's so tall and then as you go up the the parts of the you know like this part of the ladder you like you climb it goes like this and as it goes up it gets like wider so you have to like reach higher Oh my god, scary shit. And my drill sergeant was messing with me. He was like, you're scared, aren't you? I'm like, uh, no, drill sergeant. <laughs> He's like, you're scared, aren't you? I'm like, yeah, I'm, yes, I'm pretty scared, drill sergeant. I was terrified. And I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna die. I'm, this is it. Like, I'm about to graduate in a few days, and I'm just gonna die here. So, yeah, I somehow made it down there. But, scary. So I feel her pain right here. Just nervous wreck. What if I fall? You're not gonna fall. Oh my gosh. Literally bringing back memories. Seriously, so scary. Ours is bigger than this though. Bro, if we cried, if we cried, we would have been destroyed. Just destroyed. Stop thinking about it. Take one yes, more step. And then be told to grab a rope and okay, slide down. I just fired M16. I don't know how I feel about guns and just. I said the same thing, and now I love it. Well, actually, I was terrified to fire 
any kind of firearm, weapon, whatever. I, just, I was just like, why didn't I think about this? Like, I knew I was going to have to do it, but it just didn't register to me when I actually, until I had it in my hand. And I had never touched, seen a weapon before in my life, in real life. So, it was pretty scary. Um, but I learned how to do it, and now, we, like, I love, I like to do it, but it's like when you've done it so much, if you're not, like, super, super into weapons, then it's like, okay, yeah, we're fine weapon today, like, whatever. Prefer, like, just to qualify and get off the range and go do what I want to do so whole thing in general I feel like I've always had this perception of guns are really scary which they are they are only scary when you don't know what you're doing with it or if you're around people that don't know what they're doing with it or they're doing something they shouldn't be doing with it so but it felt empowering to be able to have control over it and understand what I was doing <sighs> those are the days Gas chambers, oh yeah. Gas chamber, which is a staple of boot camp. I'm yes, that is like, gas chambers is literally the most talked about, most thought about thing in basic training history. Like, literally. Never experienced suffocating. I almost drowned once, but I think this is going to be kind of next level. Once we're in the gas chamber, if we're going to be asked to do a series of physical activities and maybe even remove the mask, which I'm most terrified for, this isn't even about physical prowess. It's entirely mental. We're going to have to be in there for eight minutes, and I'm really going to do my best to last the floor. If thousands of Marines can do this every year, so that. While you're in my eyes, down my throat. So I totally remember this time. Um... We got in there, you know, you have your mask on, so it's perfectly fine. But the t the moment they make you break that seal, it, or I don't know if we had to break... Actually, yeah, we had to break the seal and, like, I can't remember how you do it. But, um, and then, like, clear your mask. But when you take that thing off, like, oh, my God. And then some people try to hold their breath, and one drill sergeant, like, punched them in the chest to make them breathe. <laughs> so funny. But, um, literally... I think we had to see I think my group had to do the seven army values I was literally like I was like loyalty duty and then I just didn't I couldn't get the rest out like I was like Ugh! like it was just snot running all out of your just nasal passages cleared out just running all down to the ground it was insane like my eyes were burning my face was burning like your throat is burning it is literally crazy and you it's like a panic because you're like i need to get out of here like your body's telling you get the f out because you're literally suffocating kind of okay oh come on you can't quit i thought he was joking but turns out he was dead serious oh we had that option we're allowed to do that i'm a little jealous that uh he's on a flight to california and i'm about to be on a bus to hell but also i think it's important to recognize that caleb did an amazing job yesterday he quit so Uh, good old PT. Oh yeah, get it in, girl. Oh, I remember the times when you're doing PT or getting smoked or just anything, or specifically PT when you're not in trouble, and your drill sergeant is pushing you to your literal just breaking point. It is so hard but this she she has a lot of there's a lot of tenacity and a lot of like willpower i can see she she i think she'd be pretty good in the military from what i see so far she just has like a lot of dedication and like her head is on straight i always tell people they're always worried about like I always get like, how's PT? How am I gonna, you know, make it through PT? And like, really, PT should be the last thing you're worried about. It's all a mental game. You're running all the time. You're getting smoked all the time. You're always doing PT. So getting into shape is like literally not the hard part. It's the mental part. Getting yelled at all the time. Being sleep deprived. Eating so early. They're just so freaking hungry. Like late at night. Um, waking up in the mornings early, four o'clock, four thirty in the mornings. Uh, just day in and day out of bs which i mean that really never ends but 
being away from your family like all that stuff the mental game is what gets everybody if your your brain can tell your body to do anything it wants and once you like figure that out and realize that it should be a smooth ride and usually you don't really realize that until it's almost over so i went to fort sill oklahoma for basic training and we had a thing called treadwell tower i still remember the name terrified you basically have to repel off of a tower all by yourself scary if you're scared of pipes oh girl i remember that literally made my heart just drop don't let go and i'm supposed to jump off of it backwards it's scary it, it really is men it's mentally scary but you're not gonna die I didn't have anyone helping me like that, but okay. Okay. lock your knees up. I want you to keep your knees locked the whole time until I tell you nice, all right? Yes, sir. Keep your feet shoulder width apart. What you do now is lean back. I want you to get in that nice L shaped position, all right? <laughs> all right. Keep your knees locked up. <laughs> okay. Lean back. This program is really good at finding every single person's weakness and bringing it out. <laughs> take a squat. So squat. And then when I tell you to jump, you're gonna jump. So count of three, go. One. Two, three. Oh, girl. Oh, my gosh. Ah! <laughs> oh, my God. You know what? I think I have a bigger fear of heights than I thought I did. And against that was the worst pain I've experienced this whole trip. Do you think this training is harder than Ninja Warrior? 100%. I heard we're going to an obstacle course next, so I'm... I'm harder than Ninja Warrior? What the heck? <laughs> this is one of the bigger ones. Do you understand? This is recruit assistance, okay? I'm a recruit to actually choose... Buddies, like your own buddies to a, a system over it for teamwork, you understand? Teamwork Let's makes go, the dream go. work. Girl, you could have made that. Come on. Ooh. Uh, remember those. Ooh, yeah, the first time I ever tried to go and do that wall i literally ran up to it thinking i'm gonna be like badass and get over it and ran right into the freaking wall so um soldiers have something kind of similar to this um and we call it our rite of passage so our last i'm sorry i keep adjusting this um, so our last uh, ruck march, which is, I cannot remember exactly what it was, but it was a long ass ruck march. Um, the last ruck march that we have, we march, um, uh, we march from our last FTX to back to our, sorry y'all, back to our um, company area. Literally, oh my God, the longest, most grueling, but easiest um ruck march i think uh actually no i think the easiest were the ones in between but the first one that one oh that was sucked i think the lot the last one wasn't the hardest because i was obviously more in shape and i wasn't so scrawny like i was before but it's the hard it's hardest like in a sense like it's so long oh my god but ruck marches were my favorite thing um Ruck marches were my favorite things. Like it was quiet. I could actually hear myself think. I would sing inside my head. I would literally sing songs. Like it was great, and no one's talking to me. Um, and it's just like I I enjoyed them, and I uh, I enjoyed them because I was just like you get to see all this beautiful wonders that God has made. No, I'm joking. But you just kind of get to look out and and just like just it's it's just quiet. Um. <sighs> I also saw two tarantulas for the first time in my life, so that was awesome one time on a rock ride. But anyway, so we have a thing called our rite of passage, um, kind of similar to the crucible here, and it's our last hurrah. Basically, all of our training is done. This is our last graduation requirement, and it's long. Like I said, it's grueling. It's painful. Your feet hurt so freaking bad. Omg. I remember we had these big old hills we were going up oh my god but like we kept it moving like nobody fell out absolutely nobody fell out actually nobody's ever fallen out of a rock i don't if you fall out of a ruck march you something's wrong with you because you're just walking 
yeah, you got stuff on your back and you got it and you have like weight on you, but like you're just walking like anyway, it's hard, but like there's it's not so bad that you just stop like this is not soldier you know winning soldier of the year kind of competition those are I've seen those rock watchers those are hard, but anyways, like I was saying, like um yeah, so you get back and I'm not gonna go into like specific detail because if you guys want to know what really happens at a rite of passage then join the military uh, but anyway so yeah your rite of passage um you get back and like i said i'm not gonna go into specific detail because it's a secret um but you get your you know award and or your they get like a coin or something like that but we get ours as well um what we what they give i think i got like a thing but something happened to it because um yeah we got i got something to go on my dog tags um and then we earned the title of soldier and before um you know we're not called a soldier like they they specifically say you guys are not soldiers like at all so um yeah like the moment that you're able like someone's like good job soldier like it was the best feeling ever just to be called a soldier and it it is a very emotional like time and just thinking about it kind of makes me teary eyed um but it's a very emotional you just it's i know i dog on being in the military sometimes but like it literally is one of the greatest feelings of your life other than having kids but anyways it's just it's a great accomplishment and yeah anyways their Chris Bowl is what we call our rite of passage. Yeah, that's pretty good. Like I'm, I'm pretty proud of these people. Like going through boot camp is, it's not an easy task. It really isn't. So yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it just got. I just really wanted to do this. I went to boot camp five years ago. Oh my God, that's crazy. I, I still to this day cannot believe I ever even did that. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.